So today we're going to talk about the Rubik's Cube and how to solve it. Um, so this is a Rubik's Cube. Um, obviously this one is not solved yet. Um, we will um, talk about how to solve the cube layer by layer. Uh, so the intention is to get it from here to here. Okay. So the first step when solving the Rubik's Cube is to do the white daisy. Obviously there are multiple ways of solving it, so um, I, I will show you one way of how to solve it. When we talk about the, the white daisy, when you'd look at all the sides here. Um, essentially, when you, the, the, the Rubik's Cube will swivel from various sides here, from, from each side. Not, um, but if you take a look at the the middle pieces here, these ones are, are the specific sides that do not uh, necessarily move. So when you take a look at this side here, you see the yellow that's in the middle here. So essentially, this uh, face of, of the cube should be yellow. Uh, on this side, this is orange, the intention is to get this side orange, white, and, and this face white, so on and so forth, red, uh, green, and then blue, right? So when we do the, um, the white daisy, we should first look at the, uh, the yellow side. So you can see the yellow here in the in, in the middle. The the daisy, uh, which we are referring to, would mean that the four uh, sides here surrounding the yellow should be white. But um, the intention is to have a white piece uh, on these uh, sides that is also corresponding to the correct color on the uh, respective sides. So. Um, just by chance, uh, this cube has a white here, which is great, but in order to see if it's correct, uh, the, the color that's attached to this white piece should match the corresponding side. So in this case, it's um, white, and, and this is uh, green. Um, this would be on the incorrect side because this here is red. So in order to fix that, um, just for this specific scenario, you would need to um, look at the, the, the green side. So there's the green side, there's the white. You would essentially turn the top piece once that side to the green. So you, from, um, this side you can see the, the white is on this side it's green and then green so that's correct and uh, in order to complete the other sides where this should be white uh, these three pieces should be white you'd look at the um where the the remaining white pieces are that are located in in the middle so uh, for example um this piece here is white and it's in the middle um and in you'd like to bring this up to the top, right? So the intention or the first step is to make the, the middle white piece on the opposite side of the yellow. So this is the yellow, this is white. You bring this down. Okay. Take this piece, bring it down. Right, so now you have the white on the opposite side of the yellow. And what you would need to do is, now that this is white, you, you, you'd you like to, um, what they say is line up the T's. So this is white, this is red. You'd like to have um, this red lined up with the red side. So when you take a look at the pieces here, or the, the sides, this is blue and there's red. So you'd essentially need to uh, turn this piece once to the right until you have it. This is um, lined up.
end up red, red, white. And now you can essentially uh, turn this piece 180 degrees, one, two, and there you have it. You have the, the, the yellow, the white, red, and then red. So now you have this one correct. You have this piece correct, which we've done earlier. And now uh, you'd like to complete the other two sides here. So let's look for any white pieces that are in the middle. There you go. Here's one here. Um, what you would like to do, again, is bring this white piece to the bottom on the opposite side of where the yellow is. You bring it down, right? Now, when you look at where it is now, it's white, blue, blue. So the, the, the blues are, are lined up, which is great. And now you just move the side uh, 180 degrees. So one, two. Right, so now the white piece is here. Uh, just to double check that it's correct, you'd look that it's blue and then blue. So there you have it. You have uh, these three pieces that are all correct. Red, red, white, uh, green, green. Now, the, the last piece, uh, let's look for the last piece here. Uh, there it is. Okay, it's already there at the bottom. Now, what you would need to do is uh, line up the, the cor corresponding color. So you'd have uh, orange, this is uh, red, so that's correct. Look for the orange side. There it is. So what you would need to do is essentially move this piece. One, two, right? So you'd look at the, the white, orange, orange, and now uh, you would essentially uh, uh, turn this side 180 degrees, one, and then two. Good. So just to double check, we do have the daisy here, uh, which is um, yellow, white, 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 right? Which is great. This is just by chance. Uh, you can ignore this white there. Um, and then again, uh, just to double check that it's correct, white, green, green, which is right. White, orange, orange, white, blue, blue, and white, red, red. Great. So that would be the first step on how to do the Rubik's Cube.